IPOP members raised flags in Benue community. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has reportedly raised its flags at Ekile community in Ado local government area of Benue State. Ekile, a district in Ado local government area, is a host community to several Isas and Ezas from a boy state. The next edition gathered that the flags were seen at strategic locations in the community, which shares borders with another community in a boy state. Sources said the flags were spotted early hours of Friday last week when some members of the Ekile community woke up to discover that the Biafran flag has been hoisted in their community. The chairman of Ado local government area, James Oche, confirmed the incident. Oche said that he received distress calls from some mm -hmm. prominent individuals in Ekile district informing him of the disturbing developments. The chairman who spoke through the supervisory councillor for education, information and social development, Mr. Atta Ede, expressed shock over the development, saying that there is no part or section of Ado land that belongs to a boy. Mr. Atta, who also told newsmen that there is no Biafran community in Ekile, therefore wondered why the Biafran flag should be hosted there. He said the local government has commenced investigations into the matter to unravel whoever is responsible for the act. He assured that no part of Ado local government area will be ceded to IPO. Yes, it was true that some people suspected to be IPOP members went and hosted Biafran flags at Ekile community in my local government area. The action is unwarranted and condemnable. It is a mischievous act to stir crisis in our area, but we will not give in to that. We are yet to ascertain their mission and why they think such things should be done in Ado. Ado belongs to Benue State and Benue is one of the states in the north central Nigeria. We are not southeast and we can never be. Therefore, IPOP should keep the activities of Ado community and Benue as a whole, Oche said. Thank you for listening to this news. I want to personally congratulate the IPOP members for the hosting of the flag. If the, uh, the Benue people as want to accept it or not, the fact still remains that in Benue states, the IPOP members, those that are recognized IPOP members have identified themselves and they deemed it fit that Benue State should be an IPOP state. Of course, it's a Biafran state. You see, a time is coming when all these people rejecting um, IPOP or refusing to recognize themselves with the IPOP or the Biafran group, hmm. a time is coming when they will be rushing to be part of the map. That time, Biafran will turn their back on them. That's why when I look at um, when I look at Nissan Wiki, when he said that uh, no part of Rivers will be ceded to Biafra. <laughs>
I laughed. I laughed because he doesn't know that that same rivers, 80% of the indigents of River State are IPOC members and they are Biafran recognized. They recognize Biafran Republic and they support the Republic. That's why I'm just laughing. No, no worries. No need to worry. One thing I believe is that that time is coming. Just like Nabekano said to our Igbo leaders that they may be rejoicing now. Rejoicing. Countering and killing, attacking the IPOPs or Biafrans. But when the time will come for them to regret all of these atrocities they are committing, all of these atrocities they are demonstrating on their own brothers, that time will come. They will regret and they will shed tears. They haven't seen anything. That time will come. I personally want to congratulate the IPOPs in Benin State for making that effort because IPOP cannot just go to Benin State. Definitely in Benin State, there are Benin recognized IPOP members. There are Benin people, Benin indigents that recognize themselves as IPOPs. And those are the people that made it possible for the hosting of the flag in Benin State to be possible. Should I start now? So, that is any, any other person's problem. Anyone that is against the hosting of Biafran uh, flag in their, in, their, in their own state is free. It's free to, to challenge the IPOP and it's free to turn down the, the, the invitation. IPOP is not worried or they are not looking for members. The people they have is even enough. They are not asking for crowd because crowd is a problem. Should I start out? Crowd is a problem. So there is no need. There is no need um, challenging them because it's their state. Let them do whatever they want to do. IPOP is very okay with the, with the people that they have. If they are thinking or reasoning that Nigerian government is, uh, that is assuring them of one Nigerian will succeed, I am telling them they have, they have, they have failed woefully. They have failed woefully because there is no body that we ever think of one Nigeria at this situation. I'm telling you, one Nigerian and our country is dying. One Nigeria and our country is in crisis. One Nigeria and our country is experiencing a very high level of insecurity. Hmm, my viewers, we are still dreaming. I don't know why we are still very adamant of the truth. I don't know who is going to talk to us so that we will be able to know that we are under spell. Some egos are still under spell, under the spell of the Fulanese. When will you wake up and see the truth? When? When? Papa, my viewers, you can't all see all that is going on. Please, your comments are very important. Deem it fit to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the play button to receive more updates. Thank you.